What was that? Oh my god, he's on the front of the bus! <laughs> oh, what the f- <laughs> Holy shit! What?! Well, 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 look what series is back for another round. Before we get going, the only thing I do want to cover is last time I did ask you guys a question. I asked you guys for suggestions on what Easter egg we should try without a guide. Oh, I printed off all the comments again, sir. Oh no, please, Reginald, I read them all online. We own many limes, sir. No, online. I will get the limes. Oh. Not limes again. All I'll say at the moment is your comments have been noted. And even though there was a really huge range of answers, I do think I noticed one map stand out a little bit more than the rest. But that is for another day. We will get there in time. Let's get started with the next game in the series. Here we are, Black Ops 2, released in 2012 and yet again packed with a ton of zombie content, probably enough to keep us going for the rest of the year we will have to see. We have 6 more zombie maps to get through, we have Nuketown, Transit, Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, Buried and Origins. From the early whispers I have heard about Black Ops 2 Zombies, from the comments section and from our Discord, it seems like you guys really don't like Transit or Die Rise, but you guys do absolutely love the other three maps which come after that, so it sounds like things might start off a bit rough and maybe get better after that. Also yes, do not worry, I will be launching these maps as a solo player and watching all of the opening cutscenes for story time, we are going to start with Nuketown. I actually do not know if that is chronological release order, uh, but as you will shortly see, it's kind of the perfect map for us to start with. Nuketown is pretty quaint in size. Uh, it should be a nice playground for us to get used to things and just to see how Black Ops 2 feels. Oh, 90 FOV. Oh, damn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Already, this uh, just like looks a little sharper, doesn't it? it? It looks a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you can sprint for way longer in this game. Right, yeah. It's like four times as long. Oh, it's way oh, longer, it's so yeah. Much nicer. Yeah. I feel more agile, man. I feel good. Yeah, the jump and the, the increased sprint duration really is a just like a complete game changer. Yeah, it really is. That might be the biggest changer, honestly. So yeah, this game actually feels really good. At the time, I really didn't notice that Black Ops 1 was maybe a little slower, maybe a little clunky, uh, until we started playing Black Ops 2. Every Call of Duty has always felt a tiny bit different. Sometimes it's hard to pin down what those changes are. Uh, but whatever they have done between Black Ops 1 and 2, uh, they have been good changes. The next fun part of changing to a new game is rolling the mystery box for the first time and just seeing what new guns are available. M1216, what's this? Oh, it's like an auto shotgun. Oh, that's, oh, that's not, okay. Seems cool. Is this full auto? Oh, it is. Uh, yeah, alright. It's probably better than a sniper it's rifle. Like a war machine, that's kind of fun. Oh, for God's sake. I forgot how this works. <laughs> Come on. This thing's going to be fucking hopeless. Unless I hit them directly. Nope. Still doesn't uh, detonate. No. Fucking nice. hell. That's terrible, nice. man. It nice. doesn't even detonate on impact. Nice. That's awesome. What the... Where's this gun? The SMR. This gun does no damage. What the fuck? This is the worst gun in the game. Oh my god, the SMR is fucking dog shit. There's a pretty decent variety of new weapons for us to play with and get used to. Maybe a few too many burst rifles for my liking, but again, I'm sure we'll get used to it. But I would say that's enough warming up to Black Ops 2. Let's get started with the map itself. Let's get into Nuketown. There isn't a whole lot going on in Nuketown. This is one of those more old school maps. There's no power to turn on. There's not even any windows to board up. It's small and your aim is just to not die. I'm sure most of you, maybe even all of you know this map. It's maybe the most iconic Black Ops map of all time. The main novelty of this map is it seems like there is stuff falling from space. 
Oh my god! Something just crashed into the map. Did it? Yeah, yeah, it sounded like a rocket or something. I don't know. Also, Juggernaut is just, just here. Just sitting here. So that's nice. That is nice. I really wonder what that was that fell into the... Like, it sounded like a rocket, like, crashed into the map. See, there, it's doing the air raid siren again. The water's just getting nuked to shit, I think. Okay, there's something falling in. Oh! Oh, I think I know what the crashing down to Earth was. I think it was the vending machines. Oh! Juggernaut's not here. Oh, yeah, and a double tap. Double tap that? Let's see, let's see. It's not. Interesting. Oh, that's, I think you're right. It's like, what the hell is Juggernaut gone? That is neat. So, yeah, the vending machines crash down to Earth in a random order and in a random selection of places. The problem with this, though, is somehow we only ever got Juggernaut once in the six sessions we did on Nuketown. I think we did get really unlucky, uh, but this map is pretty difficult with two people and no Juggernaut. What the fuck? Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'd be in trouble. We'd be in trouble. I have eight bullets left. Oh god, this! There's, There's an insta kill behind you! Check this out! Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> god damn it. Are, no, oh no. my god, oh. dude. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding Where's me? Where's the Juggernog, man? Give it to us! Yeah, like. Give it to us! I have like a billion points. Right, we're round 14 and we still don't have Juggernog as an option. Yeah. That's crazy. But like, uh, we should try making a stand just in a room with our backs to the corners. I kind of want to try that. Yeah, sure. To see how it goes out of interest. We're going to die as soon as one of us reloads. <laughs> Sweet, I'm reloading. Wish me luck. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, Good luck, Joe. We are winning. <laughs> maybe that wasn't the strat, but I wanted to try no, it. No, maybe not. But yeah, never getting Juggernog makes things really difficult. I also have to try and cover Double Tap in this section. Uh, the long story short was that Double Tap was bad in Black Ops 1, but now it is good. I asked my Discord to try and explain why that is. I can't say I fully understand this, but regardless, the community is usually right. Uh, yeah, but anyways, it's really great with two LMGs. It just takes basically like one mouse click, one firm mouse click, and everything dies. Oh, I, yeah, okay. This is the strat for sure. We noticed there was a power-up locked behind this door here. There's a double point, it's just like outside the map? What the? Huh? Like behind this door here. Can you, oh, you can open this door for 3,000? What the fuck? Yeah, for double points. That seems... Maybe it, like, respawns once you open it? Oh, you might be right, yeah. Oh, I can open this. 3K. <gasps> do it. I'm gonna do it. Wow. Wow, it's a nuke. Grab it. Come on. Come on. Great. That was worth $3,000. I hope it respawns. <laughs> yeah, maybe per round? So, did it respawn? Uh, Great. Wait. What's the point uh, of that? <laughs> wow. Great. 3,000 down the drain for a nuke that gave us 400 points. That's really cool. Oh shit, the uh, the thing, the nuke changed into a fire cell. A fire cell. I guess that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. Honestly, I'm still not quite sure what this is. I guess it's just a power-up which respawns occasionally. Inside this van is a bunch of wall weapons. It costs 3,000 points to get inside this van, but hiding behind these boxes is something brand new, the Galva Knuckles. And behind these... Aha! Behind the boxes, there's a secret. Wait. Oh. Galva Knuckles. Galva knuckles yeah. for 6k? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Galva knuckles. Uh, uh, Galva knuckles. Ooh. They look like... So this is, I guess, my melees? Oh yeah. It's a different animation. From my POV, at least. Mm. Alright. Give me a punch. Wow. I guess it's just insta-kill them? I think so. This is actually <laughs> kind of... Kind of really good. Yeah. 
Well, I could, I could just, like, take on a crowd of them, basically. <laughs> so the Galva Knuckles do seem like a pretty decent melee weapon. One other thing I want to cover while we are here is zombies have custom settings now. A few that stand out is there's an easy mode now, and also you can choose to start at certain waves, going up in increments of 5 all the way up to round 20. We obviously had to start at wave 20 just to see what it was like. Oh, uh, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, you start at 10k. Ah! Okay, Rick. so we can immediately get, like, the AK. Mr. Box is in the uh, big backyard. Oh, okay, okay. Open this. Yeah. Get AK. To the backyard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Sick. Hope you didn't swap your AK for... Oh, my God, they're ah! so fast. <laughs> oh, my God, the AK is not it, though. Oh, my God! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, I like that. That's horrifying. That's a funny challenge. We also wanted to see what easy mode was like as well. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some science. I'm just gonna get whacked by a zombie and just see how many hits I can take. Okay, I took two. <laughs> Sorry, so I was- Still two hits. <laughs> there was one that just wandered right up on me. So you wonder what easy mode is? It does feel like they move slower, I don't know. I think you're right about their speed. They just feel clumsier. Yeah, they feel really slow. Yeah. You're definitely right about that. Doing some research, it seems like me and Jameson were mostly right. The only thing that changes is the zombie speed. And that one thing obviously makes a huge difference. Unfortunately for us, you cannot complete the Easter eggs on easy mode. Uh, but this might be really helpful in the future for exploration purposes. But yeah, that's about it for Newtown. There is no Easter egg. It's just an old school map where the intent is to survive as long as possible. Something we are not very good at without Juggernog, it turns out. And first impressions for Black Ops 2 are good. The movement feels better. The shooting feels better. The sound design sounds better. We have an FOV slider and we have an easy mode for exploration. So yeah, no complaints so far. Everything just seems a little bit better. And yeah, Yes, I did hear that when you get to round 25 on Nuketown, the zombies' eyes turn blue, and I'm afraid I don't care. If you want to see some blue-eyed zombies, we might as well move on straight away. Let's get into transit. So, Transit is by far the most extensive and discovery-rich zombie map we have played so far. It took five whole days of exploring to see what we think is everything, but this map seems pretty dense with secrets and hidden things, so honestly, maybe we did miss a few things? Not to skip too far ahead, but from the research I've been doing into Black Ops 2, it looks like we might have to come back here anyway. You start off transit in a bus depot, almost instantly we discovered there are parts that can be picked up off the ground. Hold F for part. Excuse oh. me? <laughs> Holy oh, I got a mannequin bust. Wait, are you George Romero again? Am I? No, no. You look like the old guy from Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, you're just like a man with a mustache. Uh, maybe this thing instead? Oh, oh damn it. I, don't know. I dropped the mannequin. Oh. I picked up something else. Weird. Take the mannequin. I smell a plan coming together. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are nuts. What the fuck? <laughs> This looks like a Last of Us workshop. Hold F to add part. Oh. Wait, wait, I'm building something. Protect me. You too. Okay. Fuck you, Darlington. I can build shit too. You'll need a source of power. Interesting. During our first session, we did find a bunch of these random parts around the map, but we didn't really have any idea what to do with them. I will cover this a bit later on when the building stuff becomes a bit clearer down the road. The first thing I obviously tried to do was running out into the Silent Hill fog. Oh. Can you just walk into the lava? No. Yep, yep. There's a scary noise when you walk into the fog. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, fuck. God, oh, God! There's a monkey Did on you! Did you see that? Oh, my God, it's yeah. on me! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay, so... It's like a little gremlin <laughs> with a big head. Don't go in the fog. There's goblins in there. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't a very good idea. There's a lot to get through in transit, but let's start with the main gimmick of the map, which, as a lot of you will know, is the bus. Uh, is the... Bus driver a zombie? Oh, he he's like a robot zombie? Oh. Additional parts required for the front of the bus? Hold F to open the bus door. I'm doing it. Get in, baby. How'd you go? Do we need a fare? Bus fare? Oh, we're off. Woo! Oh, shit. Did you do anything? Or did we... No, I think you just get in. It's and just on a timer. Maybe the beeping is like a all aboard. Right, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Whoa. 
We're being chased. Holy shit, they're fast, man. Oh, God. They're like Looney Tunes back here. This bus will carry you between five different locations on the map. For our first session, I think it made sense to just explore every location that the bus takes you to. Oh, ow, ow, ow. The gaps. Ah! I do like the apocalyptic red ambiance. Oh, there's the zombies are exploding. Exploding, eh? Some of them, like when they're, they, they look like they're on fire and uh, they explode. So it seems like we just got to wait for the um, bus to do a whole circuit, right? A loop? I guess so. The question is, can you traverse the fog without the bus? Probably, right? Probably. It's just a nightmare. Oh, I'm going to roll the box and I'm going to get the super ray gun watch. Nice. Oh, hit the bus. I heard it. I got the super ray gun. Did you? Look at it. It's sick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How does that keep happening? In case you guys were wondering why the Ray Gun Mark II has not been mentioned yet, we know it's out there. We see it rolling around in the mystery box from time to time. We were kind of hoping it would pop up in Nuketown. We still haven't managed to get our hands on it. So hopefully we can cover it one day. Uh, the mystery box definitely doesn't want to give it to us yet, though. This is it. Mm, God damn it, I saw it! It was the second to last one! Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, the bus is here! Coming, I'm coming. At this point in our first session, Jameson's connection kind of started to explode, which definitely wasn't ideal. Oh, hold it. Connection interrupted. Next place! Set 999 ping! I did it! <laughs> I just teleported out of the bus, Joe! Whoa! Oh, the game's exploding! Oh my god! Help! They have like a sound bug. It sounds like a flag is w waving in the wind right now for me permanently. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what that's caused, what, like where that's coming from, but it's just. Yeah, I don't hear it. It's just in my ears constantly now. It's very annoying. Yeah, that does sound annoying. I will say for this early exploration period, having to wait around for the bus was a little tiresome. It definitely made for some boring moments, but I'm sure you transit veterans will know we will figure a way around this eventually. I think we have to, like, go through the rounds to get the bus to move. You think so? I, I, I haven't heard the bus move at all. I heard a beep, beep, beep not too long ago. Mm, I don't think it's going to come until we progress. Let's just wait it out just for science. Okay. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Fuck me, I guess. Here we <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing. Looks like a dump. Oh. 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 Wait. Get in. Get in. Oh, you are in. I'm in Resident Evil, Joe. Whoa, this is cool. Oh my god, the bloom is insane. Is this... Is it... Does it look like this? Like oh everything is a glowing god. white light? Like we're in heaven? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, oh wait, power. Wait, hold F for part. There's another part here. Oh, I picked up the whole fucking thing. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's no way out of this route, this this area. How do we get out of here? There's no way out until we turn the power on. I presume you can turn the power on in here, uh, or we're probably just dead. You're gonna have to escort me as I explore, because oh, I, God, uh, oh, we're so dead. <laughs> we're so dead. There'll be a lot of zombies coming, though. Good thing you got the ray gun. Yeah. You're doing great. The flag uh, flapping also is like overriding almost all sounds, so everything else sounds like it's at about 4% volume. <laughs> There's got to be a way out of here, dude. Um, can you, can you add a part over again, here? Again, can, yeah. Will that do something? And maybe we got to like fix the generator. Oh, 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 yeah, you, you, you put that panel up. Okay. Oh. Anything back? Ah, yeah. There's another thing here on me. Grab the arm. What? What? Grab the arm. Oh, oh, I don't yeah. even see the text yeah. for it, yeah. the, because it's so fucking bright in here. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the F, and that was it. Uh, no? I'm adding it. Oh, you stood here, not to the thing. Part added. Okay, yeah, the floating arm. Boom. Nice, Power. yes! I'm a regular Thomas oh, shit. Oh, shit, what's that? We did it. It's a giant Tesla coil turning on. It's. I think it's booting up. Oh, God, no, no! Oh god, is this damaging me? I wouldn't go in there. Oh god! Ah! Don't go in there! Ah! <laughs> no, it wasn't! <laughs> Look at that! Whoa, what the? You see that fucking thing? There's a guy up there! Is there a man in there? Is that no. Mr. Dr. Manhattan? Dr. Manhattan? It's probably Rick Tobin. Probably, yeah. Oh! Oh, the power- the door thing! 
That was uh, kind of exciting, honestly. Wow, okay. God, look at the pit down there, dude. Oh, jeez. That is death. That's Mount Doom. Uh, tombstone. Uh, I'm grabbing it. I don't know what it is. Tombstone. <gasps> Jesus. <sighs> bus is here, bus is here, bus is here. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, guard me. I'm, I'm Googling. For 2,000 points, the player is allowed to drop a tombstone power-up while downed when they are holding the use button. Okay. This kills the player in the process and not doesn't allow anyone to revive them. When the player spawns in the next round, if they grab the tombstone power-up, they receive the perks except for tombstone itself and guns possessed before going down. So yeah, it's like a corpse run. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, shit. whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he come from? I have no idea. My tombstone! <laughs> We're here, get out! Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I'll let you do that. <laughs> oh, God, open the door. Get in. Oh, right. Oh, my God. So, oh, there's a vault. Can't open it. Okay. This is the town. So there's, what, five destinations? I thought the mystery box is still back at the diner, right? Yeah. The mystery box is going to be, like, really annoying for stuff. <gasps> I found Jug. <gasps> you did not. I did. Off to Newtown, I thought we'd never see it again. <laughs> this lava sucks, dude. I know, right? It's such a pain in the ass. I'm buying Jug. Nice. Should we get on the bus? Do we have time to make it back? Wait, can you get on while the... Oh, this is... It's not gonna... I... My... Uh, I'm on. I, Are you on? I... Uh... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna... You should... Just wait until you see that and... Oh my god. So it seems like as soon as you get the bus, you're kind of forced to next the round, right? Because then your crawl attacks you and you have to kill it. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a hole in the roof, dude. Ah, that would do it. There's a hole in the roof. Well, I'm out of ammo, so good luck. Uh, that is uh, problematic. I threw a grenade right at my feet, but it didn't... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Are we back? <laughs> We're back, baby. Oh my god, dude. We got cool as well. Ah! Okay, okay. I'm going ah! to the workshop. Ah! I, I need a... Uh, oh my god, am I really going to have to buy this fucking M whatever again? You can do anything yep. right now. The fuck, the world's like shaking. Careful over there. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> There's a lot. Juggernaut my ass. Yeah, well, she was run by a thousand of them. It doesn't last forever. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. That was, that was a lot. <laughs> So yeah, that's day one complete. We visited all five bus stop locations. We had encounters with the goblins in the smoke, which are apparently called denizens. And we've kind of started to figure out buildables and workbenches. But let's get straight into day two, where our focus was definitely to figure out what these buildables are and how they work. We also needed to have a better look around town because we kind of left in a panic last time. You need a source of What do you mean you need a source of power? Can we not turn the power on? Wait, what? Yeah, this door cut doesn't open. You'll need a source of power. Uh, well, the vending machines are on. Is there like some sort of... Weird. I wonder if there are like switches you have to flip for each area? Huh. Hmm. There's uh, two keys like in a safety deposit box in the bank that are sort of glowing, but you can't pick them up. Oh. Maybe if I come over, we can do it together. Oh, I got the SMR. Fuck off, man. See these? Yeah. I don't know. F? Nothing. Hmm. B? Nothing. Not really a lot going on here. Not so far, no. Unless I, unless we're like really missing something. I mean, obviously the bookstore we can't get into, but everything, every other building here, there's like, there's no parts yeah. that I've seen. I see a green light. Yeah. I feel like that's not the only green light I've seen. Yeah, you need a source of power first. We're missing something here. Weird. Oh, here's a pie here. Yeah, I'm gonna do another thorough exploration of this. So. There's a fan. Oh, dude, it's a thing. I've got a, I've got a thing. Is this Whoa. like a little power generator? Oh my god, it is. It is. Oh wow. Ah, interesting. Oh, another part. It's a ladder. I do you want a uh, turbine? Maybe turbine near the the light. Do we have a crawler? I'm just gonna. We gotta clear out some of these zombies first. Oh, sorry. I thought the round was kind of uh, coming to an end. There's a fuckload of them in the diner with me. You can have that. Mm, I don't know, actually. Damn it. I'm I'm actually probably dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I got stuck in a fucking corner. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, thank thank you for abandoning me. I'm in a room. 
Oh, look. Holy shit. It's a giant plow. Wait, where? In my back pocket. Did you pick it up? Yeah. Oh, okay. In case the bus goes away. Holy shit. Woo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a popper. They, we call that a cow grill in North America. Nice. For fucking running the cows over. <laughs> Pushing the cows out of the way. Are we at a new place? Oh, we are. Yeah, we're at the farm. Um, oh, my God. Oh, shit. You're down on the bus. <laughs> How do I get you? Oh, I can't crawl off the bus when I'm knocked. <gasps> oh, wait, wait. Wait. Eh. Eh. I'm out of ammo no. for my LMG. Wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Monkey. <laughs> Monkey. I got quick revive as well. Bush. Nice. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Uh, I've only got an SMR and it's so, so bad. It's shocking to me. Oh, 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 okay. It's a good thing you got quick revive. <laughs> How is this guy still alive? I put like all my pistols on him. Five times the SMR as well. I'm opening this door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's claymores and a part. Oh, there's a part here as well. Okay, let me just pick this one up and see if I can put it here. This one I can put here. Is this a bus part? Maybe? Oh, maybe, eh? Oh, here's a part. It's an RPD. <laughs> what? It was just an RPD. Ah. Let's see what this does. And the other one was an ammo box. Maybe you can always make each contraption per location. We just don't know the spots yet. Oh, I found a lawnmower. I think so, yeah. We need another part. I'm adding one. Uh, it made something, dude. Look, wait, don't put that down. That is a turret. It's a turret. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. At this point, while we were yet again waiting for the bus at the farm, I did take a sneak peek at a map of transit, this map here to be specific, and I was a little surprised to see that there was an entire area we had not seen yet. We definitely had started to notice and suspect that there was stuff outside of the bus stops. Oh, there's a gun on the wall over there. You can get off like in the tunnel? Oh, weird. Yeah. Huh. Where do you want to be in here? That's bizarre. There's like a whole tunnel system, it looks like. So that means there's places to go that involve jumping out of the moving bus, basically. I guess so, yeah. Open the doors and just get out. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. This round was not exactly looking very good for us, so we, of course, immediately set out to find this new location with no plan whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Let me see if there's somewhere I can put this part on the bus. Oh, yeah. Hold F to add part. Here we go. What's that? It's a... No zombies. Uh, can you climb out there? It doesn't, doesn't look cool, like it. Cool, you can it. surf the roof. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. It looks like a ladder for zombies to climb in more easily. Wait. <laughs> like, oh! Oh. Oh, How did shit! You do that? I just double, double spaced. Oh. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that was jank. Do you want to just jump off into the cornfield? I, th I think it's... I think it's here. I think it's here. Let's go, baby. I think there's. A, I saw a path over here. Yeah, yeah, on me. There's a path. Okay, I went the wrong Where'd way. Where'd you go? Okay, great. It's fine. I'm shooting these fucking things. The arrow keeps disappearing, so I'm being oh. scratched. There's one on me, and I, I don't. Oh, it just killed huh. me. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> huh. That's very interesting. good. interesting. That's that's a stinker. So we have to stay together for that one. Yeah, I thought because I juggernaug, it might not insta kill me. Nope. But once that thing's on you, you're dead. You're dead. Hmm. We also kind of forgot to even try out the turret, so we should probably actually see what this thing does. Incorrect. What's the ladder for, then? Oh, it might be for the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. No, you broke my turbine, you bastard. No, it's not. Maybe it's for the... Hmm. Could it be for the um, power... Oh. Aha, it is for the bus. Oh, you got it. Okay, okay, okay. There's like a little place on the side. Oh, shit. I gotta take the cool ladder. Okay, that's a weird ladder slope. <laughs> oh, shit, look. Put her up here. Place. Oh. Is it working? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just shot the guy's fucking head off. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get him. Go on, turret. Go turret, go! God damn it, turret! 
Things could have snuck up behind him. I'm gonna try it down here. Yeah, I think so. Right here. I'm coming, I'm coming. There's gotta be a good spot. Go, Turk, go! I mean... What the fuck? What? Huh? Did we just get killed by the turret? I... think so? I think so. I, I I got hit by a zombie, and then I think I got shot by the turret, and I died. I... I'm not sure. I th think that might have just... I think that might have been <laughs> what happened. Uh, so yeah, that turret definitely killed both of us. Definitely not our favorite buildable, that's for sure. Actually, being honest, we didn't really think much of a lot of these buildables. Yeah, apparently in here... Since there's a workbench, there is some sort of buildable thing? Oh, is this it? Yeah, I found a part. Okay. Found a little lamp. Yeah, okay, I see. Well, I know you can drop down here, so I'll drop down here. Never gone down there, I'm too scared. Is this battery? Okay. The battery. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't know what it is, but I picked it up. Looks like a Tesla coil trap. Ooh, electric trap. Yeah, an electric trap. Whoa. <laughs> Quite small. Yeah. Not very wide. Hey! Wait, he just hit it once and it shut off? Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, not sure about this one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's better than it looks? Maybe if you're in a tiny hallway or on the bus. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, oh shit. Interesting. Well, there is an item to build here that we've never built before. Oh, well, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I got a trolley. Oh, did you find a part in the in the diner? I did. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Zombie shield. Interesting. Can I hit people? No, I can't. No melee. Hmm. Cannot plant here. Whoa! Oh. That is the tiniest shield I've ever seen in a huh. video game. This one fucking sucks. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that? Maybe we just don't know how to use the shield and the electric trap, but I don't know, man. They don't really seem that useful. So yeah, that was mostly it for day two. We figured out a large amount of buildables. We also just started to attempt to venture off the beaten path. Not to much success, but that was definitely going to be our focus going into day three. So there's a weapon. Should we give here? Just a sec, just a sec. Go here, I think. Yeah, okay. This okay. this is this is safe. This is not smoking. We're not getting attacked. It's an M16. Double this whole area is for the M16. Uh yeah, there's there's really nothing here except for the M16. Might be an Easter egg location, maybe. Oh probably, yeah. We gotta take on the fog, right? Yeah, or wait ten speeds. minutes for the for the bus. Nah. Reloading. How is that not counting? Uh, two, two shots. Nice, oh, that was thank close. You, thank we you. both got double got. Oh, I'm got. Ah, oh, I think I fucked it. Oh, I fucked it. God damn it, dude. The M14's hard. Yeah, the, yeah, the M14 is really rough for that for those guys. I'm surprised there's no way for you to get it off yourself. Like, if you, how would you do any of this solo? If you just got grabbed by a single one, you'd just fail instantly. Maybe you can actually knife them. We haven't tried that yet. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I feel like that would make a lot of sense. Let's go outside and do some science. Uh, I'm doing science. Aha, uh -huh, you can, yeah. Knife it? Okay, yeah. that's that's good. That makes a lot of sense. So finally, we figured out how to survive these denizens. I'm sure this is probably driving some of you insane watching this, but now, theoretically, we should be free to walk wherever we want, kind of? So that means we can just walk anywhere. The cost is it's fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, Super annoying. but that's fine. Like, we're not just going to instantly die. No, I don't have Jug, and I'm just, like, tanking these guys infinitely, basically. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. We don't need the bus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear the melee button being spammed. <laughs> wow, okay. Look at us. Alright, Raygun 2.0, let's do this, baby. Do it. Well, I'll take 1.0. Nice. 
All right, maybe you need the ray gun one to get the ray gun two to drop, and then I'm gonna have both of them. Hmm. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even do that? <laughs> Done that bit multiple times now. Thank you, Call yeah. of Duty. We also figured out quite quickly that while riding on the roof of the bus is pretty fun, it definitely comes with its own dangers as well. Oh Bad! God! <laughs> I crouched there. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't. <laughs> I had to crouch too. Get on the ladder! Yeah, I climbed the ladder while on fire. I'm such a cool guy. Watch out for whoa, these signs! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. That was actually kind of fucked. Watch out! Oh! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking shit! You can't jump over it either. I jumped over it. Oh, I I couldn't. Oh, God. Uh, uh, it's probably just oh my God. latency. Right back there, dude. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but with a counter to the denizens figured out, we could finally explore the last few areas of the map that we hadn't seen yet. Uh, here! Oh, okay. Alright. Good luck. I lost you. Alright. Get off of me! Nope. Wait, have I gone in a big circle? Wait. I don't know where you're going. Wait, it's here, it's here. It's like a tiny little hidden path. <sighs> oh, wait, this is Nactar and Toten! Wait, yeah, it is. This is Nactar and Toten! I mean, I never played it, but I recognize it because they used it in a lot of things. Cool. What do we got here? Oh, the prototype. That's what it's called. It's the first map. There's no workbench or anything. Yeah, maybe this is a, just a throwback little reference Easter egg thing. I think thing. it is like an actual Easter egg, yeah. Or, you know, maybe there's a an Easter egg Easter related egg stuff, yeah. thing here. Now we've got to figure out how to get to whatever's over there. I do see a tower directly in front of us. It's called the Opalist Tower. I see that as well. Yeah. I found a, a telephone, whatever you call it, communication tower. Is that not the tower? No. I don't know. Doesn't seem like anything. This can't be it, right? No. I'm just gonna... It's just like a radio tower. I'm going to keep going deeper. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. I've gone a full circle around it. And the map actually shows like a giant circle around something in the middle. Yeah, I remember that. I thought that was, I, when I saw the map, I thought, oh, it's like a circular building, but it's, and it's not. Weird. Huh. So yeah, we didn't really find much here our first time. Uh, we obviously know there's an Easter egg to come. Maybe this place becomes more relevant later on. But apart from this place, the biggest mystery still for us continues to be the town, where so far we haven't really found anything. Huh, I don't know, dude. I don't, it's, it's very weird. I'm going to start chucking grenades and stuff in the bank. Is it possible the entrance is... Oh! Holy Wait. shit! What happened? I blew open the fucking door to the bank. The vault. Oh. With a grenade. Well, that's a, that's a pretty uh, easy vault to crack. Yeah. And there's more of these things. Oh, hold, I have to deposit a thousand. Oh, okay, oh. well, I just gave the bank a thousand dollars. Oh. Oh, look at him go. Oh, here, here, here. Maybe I'll oh. stay away from that storm. Right? It looks like it. More? Mm. Hmm. You can deposit it, and I just picked it back up there. And now I can't do it again? So maybe it's a one-time thing? I don't know. You haven't got a thousand. Oh, right. Yeah, I lost. Did the bank take Wait. some interest? <laughs> I, think so. I think they did. Those fuckers. <laughs> This is probably a good time to explain that in Black Ops 2, there are a few tools that allow you to carry certain things across different sessions. The bank here allows you to store money, which can be picked up on a completely different day or session, which could be very useful going forward, maybe to prepare for the Easter egg. And the farm has a fridge which allows you to do the same thing, but with weapons. Cannot place item in locker. Locker? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I'm gonna uh, put my gun, this gun, in the fridge. Just out of interest. Okay. Just for science. Oh, hold F to retrieve weapon, huh? Oh, it worked! Oh! Nice! Yeah, this is from like three rounds ago, this uh, MA1A1. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right, three rounds ago. According to my research, this fridge actually works between separate maps as well. We kind of do every map chronologically, individually, in chunks as we make these videos, so I'm not sure if that will become relevant, but these could definitely potentially be pretty useful going forward. We're coming to the end of day three, but Jameson did make a few final discoveries. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the f... What the fuck? I don't know where you are. 
Uh, I ran into the fog and the I ran to the green light in the fog and now like a hole in the ground with a portal has opened and it's like sucks the the grabby guys off your head. What the fuck are you? Where are you? <laughs> I mean, see they don't like it. So this doesn't send you anywhere. It doesn't slurp you. No, it just vacuums them off. I think. It's just a safe spot. I think so. Yeah, I think that's all it is. Oh wait! I oh shit! There's a building over here. Oh really? Uh, just. To the right of where we were. Oh, yeah. There's a house with a bowie knife. Oh, it's, it's on the fucking map. It's just the cabin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd I miss that? Ah, I don't need any maps. Not seeing any stuff to pick up. Oh, yeah, hold F for part. I got something. Well, I'm just going to go back and see if I can place this on the workbench in the town. Okay, so I can add the part to this. Oh. Ah. Huh. Huh. Weird. Okay. So that is the end of day three. We have found every single location in the map. Well, mostly every single location, but we'll get there. We now know how to stop the denizens, but for day four, it was time to figure out the mystery of these green lamps. So, I have to be honest here, this is the part of our time in transit where I did start to look up the stuff we hadn't figured out yet. In our defense, I think we've done a pretty decent job of exploring completely blind, but we were stumped right here on what to do next, so we did start using the wiki to push us in the right direction. Quick, there's a green light up here. It'll suck the grabby boys off. We actually, like, didn't fully use this. Apparently, it does teleport you. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it certainly looks like a teleporter. You, like, get on your head and you take him over here. And then apparently that makes, like, a teleporter. Uh-huh. And then you can... Get in it? You just have to stand in it? Or... Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, you got teleported. Oh, I'm right by where we... I wanted to go. Ah. I'm by the cornfield. Okay. Um... I, w I would like to get that, too, now. Let's see, huh. okay. So what did you do? Did you just stand in it? Yeah, it was very weirdly slow to work. Oh, you jump. Oh, so you jump. Oh, that's, that's handy. Where the fuck is this? Where am I? Wait, what the fuck? Uh, I found a church. What? A church? Yeah, there's like a whole... Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this loops all the way back into town. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Oh my god. Get off me. Uh... Where the fuck am I now? <laughs> I don't know where I am, man. Uh-oh. I've been just walking down the road for ages. Okay, yeah, I'm back at the church again. Wait, huh? I'm at the farm. <laughs> oh, you're at the farm. Ah, okay. I didn't know you could walk here? Huh. <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't know how to leave. Wait, how did I get here? <laughs> this is... <st> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, okay. Oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the lamp teleportation system is pretty good, actually. It is very confusing, but you can basically get anywhere you need now, just with a little bit of patience. The next big thing we have missed is this map's wonder weapon. We did find one part for it in the last session in the cabin. There are three more parts for this thing. One is in the power station. Oh, I found them on me. Um, so you have to drop down here. Okay. Drop down here, and then it's on this little barrel right here. All right, let's go. One is in the tunnel. Oh, yeah. I found it here on me. Okay. It's this big sort of... It's definitely a jet turbine, yeah. And the last is in Nakta on Toten. Is this it? Aha. I got it. The one awkward thing is that when there's just two of you, you have to do this assembling process in two journeys, since we can only carry one thing at a time. But we did have a 200 IQ idea to get around this. But yeah, let's just go all the way to town. But don't we have to get something from power? Uh, we can't hold it. Oh, you're right. Right, right, right. Unless you can drop parts on a bus. Unless we get knocked. Huh. Kind of an interesting idea, actually. Yeah. Like self-knocked? On purpose? Yeah, I mean, you could just hold a grenade. Huh. Until it detonates in your hand. I'm scared, but I quite like the risk. Yeah, I mean... 
Might as well try. <laughs> I'm trying it. Right? Protect me. Okay. You're fine. Um, oh, I don't see the part anywhere. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. Is it? It's just very small, I think. Huh. Isn't this it here? I thought it was finished there for a second. That does look like it, yeah. Hmm. If I can't pick it up. Well, that's... Um, that's uh, hmm. Yeah. Ah. I have a feeling this might be a bad idea. Huh. This might be broken. I can't rebuild these barriers. Oh, you might have... We might have broken something. Oh, shit. I mean, it, it was a... It, it it worked with the ladder. The ladder was definitely yeah. on the bus moving around, um, but, yeah. Smart idea, in theory. Um, so, yeah, maybe this wasn't a good idea, actually. With this session's potential for seeing the wonder weapon probably dead and broken, let's at least get another thing done. Let's find the Pack-A-Punch machine. To do this, you need to put a turbine down by this green lightning marker in the power station. So I should stay in town, right? Yeah, yeah. Go to the bank okay, and see okay. if it does anything. Okay, just sec, just sec. Put it down. Um, all right, I'm in the bank. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah? I didn't see what it did, but or like the animation for it, but uh, it, it very much opened up a secret vault. Yes. I will make my way out. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'll wait for you to be back. I, I, oh, what the fucking shit! You're right. No, 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 uh, Dr. Manhattan's down here. What? Yeah. Okay, I did walk to town. I did it. Okay, great. Uh, come meet Dr. Manhattan. He's just in here, Joe. Uh. Just over here. Just in there. Oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, that's problematic. Yes. Yeah, you should check this place out. It's cool, it's cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right? So there's a part here, a part oh. here, and then the benches around the corner to the left. This map is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, this part, it worked. Okay. Well, back a bunch is here. 5,000. Oh, it's just working? Yeah. Do you want to stay inside because I don't have a juggernaut? What the? What was that? I think it's Dr. Manhattan. Oh my god, he's on the front of the bus! <laughs> oh, what the f- <laughs> Holy shit! What? He's on the front of the bus, he's zapping the shit out of me! What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? Uh, Dude, he's fucking me up! I don't know. What I'm getting back hell? on the roof, it was sort of safe up here. Ah. What in the world? Oh, he's gone! Okay. Wait, the bus stopped. Wait. I'm still getting zapped. Did he just stop the bus? I- th yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh... I don't know if it's a bug, but I'm getting zapped continuously. He's behind us! He's behind us! Holy shit, what the hell? Behind you, behind you. Holy fucking shit. I think I'm gonna leave. I think I'm out. Yeah. I can't- eh. Okay. I think I'm out. Fuck this, Oh dude. my god. He's so annoying. There's- he's chasing- holy fuck. Oh. We're so dead. Oh, shit, yeah. I have the bike part handles now in my inventory! What the fuck?! What?! I just noticed it there at the end. It just switched recently. What? Dude, I'm going to check my footage, and if you had that the entire time, I'm going to No, scream. no, I absolutely <laughs> had the battery on me. Huh. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. Wow. All right, that was a round. <laughs> So that was it for day four. We didn't quite make the wonder weapon, but we did at least learn what all the parts are. But we are ready for day five. This is the final day of exploration. All that is left now is to make the wonder weapon. And after that, we do have just one small task to get done. It's not a big deal. We'll get to it soon enough. Day 5 can be summarized as the day Jameson kept dying while holding vital parts and everything went to shit. Making the wonder weapon is up first, the first three parts went pretty smooth, and then all that was left was the bike handle again. Ah uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I got the part. Nice. Uh, now I guess I have a TP again, huh? Oh, I, okay, I'm heading back to town. I, I got the one that spawns near Cabin, so that works. I might be there as well, I'm lost. It's very foggy. No, 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 Fuck! Oh, shit. Where are you? A uh, cabin. Am I? I think I'm here with you. Yeah, I'm right here. The denizens are going to make this a bit complicated, though. Yeah, this is... I don't think I can get you. No, this is... I think we're going to drop that part, right? 
I, I'm crawling into the cabin so I'll, my part should fall, you know, like okay. in a spot I can get back to. I'm back! Alright. Okay. Let's go. Wasn't a tiny motorcycle handle, was it? I think it is. It sure was. Fuck. Okay, you're gonna have to clear this out a little bit for me before I can, like, properly explore it. But it. I don't immediately see it, which is not great. It is tiny. Yeah, and I know I know where I died, so... Oh my god, fuck off. I'm gonna... I'm dead again? Shit. There are... I can't do anything here. Like, this is so fucked. No game. <sighs> I think you got it. I think you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it! Okay, let's get back to town. I'm leaving. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck, that is so obnoxious. <laughs> Exemplary engineering, though I do say so myself. Th Thrustodyne... Whoa. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23. Okay. Wow. That looks pretty good. Uh... Uh... What the... Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's like pulls me forward and chops them up, like, because it's a jet engine. You're gliding. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me do it in the diner here, or in the bar. Wee! I think it just has infinite... Oh. Oh. It does not have infinite ammo at all. <laughs> was that it? That was it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> oh. Can you pick it up or no? Oh, it's it's just done. No, that's it. Oh, that's my it. God. Well, that was really worth the trouble. Thank you, game. I barely, oh, oh. like, used oh. it. Oh, it tapped me out. It tapped me out. I'm tabbed nice. out. I'm tabbed out. Yeah, sweet. Uh, still, still not tabbed in. Great. Well, I won't spoil what happened, but... Uh, <laughs> I ran search on Windows. Great. I assume most games stop that from happening when you're in a game, but... Yeah, older stuff. Yeah. So after doing some research, it turns out that Jameson actually buggered this by overheating the jet gun and exploding the thing. When the jet gun explodes, the parts actually fall nearby, so we could have actually remade it if my PC didn't sabotage us. But in time, we will have to come back to the jet gun, so I guess we will have like a little redemption arc and we will use it properly in the future. So all that is left is this safety deposit box. To open this, you need to hit it with Galvan Knuckles. And Galvan Knuckles are only located on the roof of the diner. And to get to the roof of the diner, you have to find the one specific bus part which lets you onto the roof of the bus. This final part of transit exploration could probably be titled something along the lines of The Great Galvan Knuckles Misadventure. Also on the very last day, we figured out that you actually can really piss off the bus driver. Oh, I got booted off! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's good, yeah, I like that. Damn, what an asshole, man. <laughs> wait. Wait, the bus didn't stop. Wait, what the fuck? The bus didn't stop, dude. Is he just raging out of here? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't stop. Um, I presume this is the part? This just looks like it goes on the bus. Uh, that sounds like it. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that is, uh, that's bad. We didn't... Oh. It's not tied to Pack-a-Punch, then. It's pa power-related, then. It's power-related. Because he's formed in the power, yeah. Well... That is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, I'm probably dead. Yep. Cool. Ran into a random corner here. That's unfortunate. That was stupid. Ow, ow, ow. Shit, my bad. Uh, I mean, I need to retreat. You do still have the ray gun, though. If you have to clear the round as well, like, so be it. Hup! Holy shit, he's insane. Hup! He's insane! Eh. Okay, holy fuck. Nicely done. Is there a lamp on this side? I don't remember. Yes, there is. There is, I see it. Fuck this, I'm leaving. Yeah. No, 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 no! Oh, shit. I'm at the diner. Well, you've got the part. Yeah, uh, this was not Jameson's finest session. It happens to the best of us, uh, but this shouldn't be too bad. We can just go back to the part and pick it up where he dropped it. Um, I don't see it anywhere. I can't see shit in here. Uh, did you have it on you? I had it on me when I died. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I died right beside the portal, and I don't see it 
in the lava sticking out? I don't see it there. So yeah, another round, another lost part. We kind of wandered around clueless after this for a little while. At one point we thought maybe the part itself had been teleported. To no one's surprise, this didn't lead anywhere. So I thought I might as well just check if the thing had respawned where it started. Oh my god, it's here! What? <laughs> it's in there! Really? It respawned? Yeah, it respawned in there. Holy shit. Wow. I'm gonna fucking die again. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> you close? No, no. I have no fucking clue where I am. No fucking clue. This map can suck a dick. I don't want to play it anymore. I'm fucking over it. Well, if some of you were hoping for some transit hatred, Jameson has got you covered. Okay. Okay, there you go. Right, get up. It's working. <gasps> He's doing it. You're safe. You're clear. Nice. Wow. There it is. Oh, look at this. Nice. This is cool. Wait, can I jump down here? Okay. Oh god, I can't. Oh, that's. This feels like an absolute choke point. Yep. Uh, oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. No. What the? Hello. Hello. That, Hello. That guy is not fucking dying. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. What the? Geez. What? What the? Why did you just? I you just went prone. I have apparently. No, I don't know. No. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Double points. That nuke should be gone. Fucking... Oh, I don't know about this. Oh my god, he's insane. Oh boy. Christ, that's uh, such a difficult, like, place to get to. It's so annoying. Six oh, in the, in, the, in the thing! Oh my god, he came through the roof! God, <laughs> I was scratching. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm back, great. Fuck. Get on! Get on the bus! What the f- I'm stuck in the doorway! Uh, what? Oh my god, this <laughs> game is fucked up, man. What the hell? Oh my god. <sighs> Get us out of here! Yeah, this last bus journey into town was very sketchy. I'm throwing a grenade. I'm out of pistol ammo. Ow. There's more on the roof. It's infinite. I know, I can't see anything. Just sec. Get it. Fuck. Okay. Okay, we're on the move again. I think it was the right call to knock it off. Die, bitch. Dude, the reach of this guy's just so scuffed. Okay, that was that was rough. That was that was okay. We're we're okay. We're okay. And finally, after that whole ordeal, it was time to reap the rewards. Mm. Oh, there's no animation or anything. It just like it just is instant. Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, a, a fire sale, fire sale thing, or something just popped up. What is that? It's a, 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 a perk here. This is my money, I think. Take it. Oh, that's your money. Take oh, it. I, it's for me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you transferred to me. I see. I get it. I get it After now. After okay. all that. That was not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that was not worth it at oh all. Oh my god, that took like 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Yeah, that roof is a death trap. The roof I'm is honest, rough. I cannot believe you made it off that rooftop. All right, that is it, guys. We are done with exploring. That was quite the journey. But we are still not done with transit. Our five days of exploration transit terror might be over, but we still have the Easter egg to go. But for my research, it actually seems quite straightforward. So let's try something we have not done yet. Let's try to do an Easter egg with no Patreon help. Let's see if me and Jameson have evolved as zombie players. Let's try the Tower of Babel with just the- Ah, oh, this better not be limes. I brought as many limes as I could carry, sir. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, no. Man. How did you even carry so many of them? They've gone everywhere. Was there anything else, Reginald? Ah, ah. Also, sir, people have requested that you will cover the multiple Easter egg paths, sir. Ah, yes, that is probably worth covering, yeah. Alright, so long story short, three of the maps on Black Ops 2 have two Easter eggs each. How could it get under there? Those maps are Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. The two versions are determined by either following instructions from Maxis or following instructions from Richtofen. Here is my plan. Oh, I stepped on one. 
The Maxis route appears to be canon, and it also seems that we can't just do both versions of the Easter egg back to back because there's some sort of sequence checker in Buried, and I'm definitely too scared of screwing that up. It's in my eye. So for our first times in Transit, Die Rise, and Buried, we are simply doing the Maxis Easter egg and then moving on to the next map, but we will be back to do Richthofen's side eventually in the future. Oh, man, this series is uh, really stupid. But for now, let's get into the Tower of Babel. Well, half of it, the Maxis side. I have retrieved a line, sir. But how many did you drop? 57, sir. You haven't found 56 lines. This Easter egg is weirdly different from all the others so far. It's not the usual long list of specific cooperative steps. Is kind of just one main step that requires some setup to pull off. The main objective is to kill the Avogadro. Uh, it turns out this guy is not called Mr. Manhattan. He has to be killed under the radio tower using EMPs while you also have two turbines down. You do also have to turn the power on to free the Avocado, but the power then has to be turned off as soon as the Avogadro has escaped. When the power is off, that means we can't use the lamp post teleportation system, and also no vending machines or perks. That means no Juggernog and there's only two of us. But the most logical place to start was to head to Diner and roll the mystery box hoping for the EMPs. You guys remember on Ascension when we were just rolling the mystery box and being sad? Well, hopefully you liked that content. Also, my usual Easter egg music just doesn't work for Tower of Babel. This Easter egg is just so consistently uneventful and boring that the tempo doesn't fit the edit. So I'm just going to slow it down by 50% and... Hmm, yeah, that actually fits a lot better, actually. Uh, no, that's no. a terrible gun. That's the SLR. I could do with something. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Was, oh. This is brutal for me. I mean, the it does one-shot pretty nicely uh, at the beginning here, but it, it's not very good for points. Oh, my God, dude. I got a pistol. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Dino was not a fan of me. Yeah. I've got a pistol and a shitty shotgun. That's very bad. Yeah. What? Would you stop that? What the fuck? I can't see anything over here. I can't see. You're doing great. Okay, that was my bad. That that was the. Uh, I haven't played zombies in three weeks. I'm good now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, attempt one wasn't looking good anyway. Uh, unfortunately for us, a lot of this is riding on our mystery box luck. The longer it takes to get the EMP, the deeper rounds we will end up in. But the earlier we get the EMP and some usable guns the more manageable this will become. Hopefully the mystery box will be kinder to us on our second attempt. I've got 30 minutes left in this as well. That's unfortunate. i got a pistol. Nice. Nice, and the mystery box is gone. That's okay. unfortunate. On attempt two, we did discover something new. I'm keeping this guy at bay. Oh, okay. That's good. Like, if we can keep this... If this is the strat to not kill the zombies and end the rounds by riding the bus, that would be that'd be pretty good. How did we not figure this out before? I don't know. <laughs> you stay out there. We we don't want any visitors. This is a good strat, dude. Sir, please. This is handy. I'm not sure how we never figured this out, but you can basically just infinitely heal a window that a crawler is behind and keep him there forever. Which basically means after 10 hours, we finally figured out how to safely carry a crawler between locations. Another pistol. Nice. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Hopefully you can get a big uh, LMG. Uh, I got a big LMG. Nice. Got the hammer. Oh yeah, that one's real good. And I got the ray gun. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I got EMP. Oh nice. Very nice, dude. 
Alright, so this mystery box was much nicer this time around. We can actually give this a go here. We do have to make our way to the power station from town. We didn't do power on the way, since without the EMP, this whole thing is impossible anyway. And also, power is only one stop backwards from town. It's walkable. And the radio tower is only one step back from the power. So who needs the bus? We would just take a little stroll there. Though, uh, we are babysitting a crawler at all times here. Uh, we don't want to next the round unless next necessary and we definitely did forget how slow crawlers can be all right this is gonna take fucking 20 minutes <laughs> my dear <laughs> uh there's also one more thing we didn't consider oh shit the bus is on its way oh, god, the oh my god he's gonna run the crawler over no oh, no 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 crawler get off the road no uh oh no <laughs> fucking squish <laughs> the crawler <laughs> All right, let's run. Yeah, and things at power did not go amazing. So apparently, we've got to turn this on and then turn it off. Okay, Watch interesting. I did something. Oh, oh, oh good. fucking hell, man. The electricity Great. killed him. Great. Oh, no. This is excellent. Oh, shit. Round 10. Oh, 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 we're trapped in fuck, here. Fuck, 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 I was on the fucking, fucking typing shit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is, I, I might have to R reload my RPD. No! I, very <laughs> fucking good. Very fucking good. Fun. Oh, what is that fucking button, dude? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I couldn't move because I was typing in the in-game stupid communication. That is shit. so dumb. So yeah, it turns out it's T or Y on PC. The button's right next to reload. Uh, that was a brutal way to go. Anyway, attempt three. This time we won't electrify the zombies. All right, mystery box. Let me don't let me down. Just this one time, as a reward for the last three hours. Of, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You ah. fuck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I got a sniper, of course. Jesus Christ, this luck, man. I was really, uh, I was really like, yeah, this game, this map is cool for the first like two hours. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna look. What's it gonna be? Very good. Oh fuck. Very good. Tremendous. That's brutal, man. This is great. Ah! What? You got fired. I just died to the fire. Yeah. I can't believe it. Make a triple. This is the first time that's ever happened. I'm fully dead. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have any ammo, dude. Patreons, where are you? <laughs> what the hell? This is so fucked up. We're on round seven and we just have pistols. Yeah. One unfortunate thing is I couldn't consistently fix the windows on the bus. I think it was just my latency because whenever Jameson tried as the host, he had no issues here. Back off the window and then- oh, he's in. This sucks, dude. Oh, good. It, it didn't spawn me on the bus. It spawned me at farm. That's- uh, that's good. Oh, what? Oh, that's- this is- this has gone great. Oh my god, dude. This is so cursed. I can't run to power, can it? Okay, well, I guess I just live at farm now. Good luck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, also, if you're dead, you, you need to go back to bus and get a... What do you call that? A what? A turbine. Turbine. Right, I need to go back to bus stop. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> that's vital. Why have we not restarted this? <laughs> um, yeah, should we just restart? I don't have anything. Yeah, I have $80 and a shotgun. Yeah, and it's round seven. And I'm stuck at farm and it's round seven. <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck <laughs> this, man. This Easter egg sucks, dude. Already, it sucks. <laughs> that was the that was the worst session ever of zombies ever. Yeah. I cannot believe how bad that was. I don't even want to talk about attempt three. Let's just move on to attempt four. I'm sure this is the one. Give me something good. I've been waiting for an hour for a gun. I got. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. What'd you get? Uh, yeah! Uh, Fuck yeah! Uh, I love this game. Oh, just give me a gun! It's a sniper. Nice. Your favorite weapon. It's a fucking sniper, dude. 
Uh, very good. Oh my god, dude. I need two new weapons. Oh, Wait, it's not here. What? Oh, it's in the bank. Oh, Fuck, <laughs> it's in the bank. Wait, is it? Is it the bus stop though? Is it? It looks like it's the bus stop. Wait. Oh, it's oh yeah. It's the. Ne it's not here. It's the bus stop. <laughs> oh my god. We have. To, we can't get there without the bus. Oh my god. This is fine. This is the run. It's we still got this. This is 100 still the guaranteed. run. Yeah, this crawler is gonna come with us for the for the rest of this video. Morale is very high. Yeah, we definitely both don't want to just be sitting, eating, drinking, and playing God of War right now. <laughs> come here, you. Come here. Hey, come here. Come on. Let's go for a little wander. <laughs> nice. Your favorite gun. I'll take two. I wanna fucking die. Dude, it just doesn't give me guns that are usable. <gasps> Python. Nice. This is a fucking joke, dude. This is a fucking joke. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. This is it. Ray gun, baby! Ooh, there you go. It's a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. You got an RPD, so we're not terrible. No, no, we're not. Hey! Ooh, that's the EMP. Boom. I said we wait for the bus, because if you walk, the crawler's going to die unless we go two miles No, no, hour. definitely. We have to wait for the bus to come all the way back. We have to get him, the crawler, onto the side, and then we drive all the way to power. Yeah. He jumps off. The bus leaves. You go into power. I start backtracking. I, I would imagine I can get to the to the field before the bus loops all the way back around. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm going to buy this AK-74U. Okay. And I'm going to start taking the crawler to, to the thing. Sure. Why not? Do it. Yeah, he's following me. <sighs> I've had a rough day. I've had a very, very rough day. This has been awful. So now it's just the long walk to the crop field with the crawler. While Jameson is on this long journey, I will quickly explain how to even make the Avogadro spawn. According to the internet, you have to start a round when a lightning storm is directly above you, and then he might spawn. He might. God, I hate that word. So yeah, the plan is simple. Take the crawler to the radio station and kill him when it is storming above us. Then the avocado will spawn. We will... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, my game's tapped out. My game's tapped out. Oh, no. Oh, it's frozen. Hello? Okay, you're knocked. Uh, my game's just frozen, dude. Okay, very good. My game is frozen. Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> Yep, you're dead. Okay, but you're still in the game, sort of. And you've timed out. You have disconnected. Oh my god. I just got to the radio tower. Literally the second you disconnected, I am on, I'm at the radio tower. We need two turbines. Yeah, you need two turbines. So we can't do it. Can't do it on your own, no. That's cool. Oh, That's fun. So, yeah, uh, that was a measurable day. Maybe the lowest point of zombies so far. I think it might even be sadder than Shangri-La. I think it was for the best that we took a break here and come back the next day. Well, it's a brand new day. Let's see if the mystery box is on our side. Uh, oh, the hammer. That's a good start for me. Oh, that's very good. Nice. I got two LMGs, which is good. Okay, that's very good. It's like the game apologizing. The points and guns are going well. Just uh, need to rely on the EMP. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a ray gun! Oh, nice, 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 nice. Well, we're loaded for our weapons. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, I got a hammer. Okay. All right. We're really, really stopped. Don't need that emp. I got it, baby! Nice! Okay. I got it. At this point in the edit, I realized I haven't actually mentioned EMPs once. And being honest, we didn't really experiment with the EMPs much during our time in transit, at least this time anyway. I kind of thought its only purpose was to kill the Amoganji. But doing some research, it does actually have a few cool other interactions. I'm pretty confident the EMPs will turn up again in the future. And when they do, we will make sure to experiment with them a little bit more. I do have to admit the worst part of mine and Jameson's strategy was definitely walking 
taking the crawlers to the crop field from town. He has basically just entered the smoke outside of town. That's how <laughs> slow he's going. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can still see the bar sign from where I am <laughs> in, in the fog. Like, he's gone nowhere. Yeah. Maybe this is too long. Maybe we, uh, if there's a next time, we'll be smarter about it. Oh my god, he's so slow. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah, I, I should have just stayed in town and waited for the bus and gotten him onto the bus. Yeah. Yeah, that was way smarter. Yeah. <laughs> that was a way smarter move. This denizen is broken. Oh, yeah. Hello. One less to worry about. Yeah. Mine is just confused. Oh, yeah. You're safe. Well, this should be a pretty exciting part of the video, I reckon. What the hell? You've got immunity. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going for you. Host, host advantage. This wasn't our greatest moment of planning, but, you know, it only took, like, 20 minutes to get this done. Oh. That's the storm. See it there? That's the storm. Yeah. That's the big storm. Should I kill the crawler? I say go for it. Fuck it, dude. Shoot that dickhead. <laughs> He's dead. All right, now run quick. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I think we're good, though. I think that's it. All right. I'm going for a little wonder. There's a thing here that... On the fence that says additional parts required. Uh, yeah. We'll get there. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, weird. Okay. Nothing so far, dude. Nothing so far. Mm hmm. So after waiting for 10 minutes or so, we did not spot the Abiado. So we just have to do this part all over again. But while we were waiting, we did hear a very interesting voice line. There's an unnatural phenomenon hovering in the distance. Ooh. There's an unnatural Ooh. phenomenon hovering in the distance. Ooh. That's an interesting voice line. I'm gonna go have a look. I'm gonna go have a look see. Yeah. Huh. What else could that mean? I'll check uh, up. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I see a tiny little flickering light towards uh, Nacht. Oh. A tiny little blue light. Because you were close, right? That could be a spawn location. No, I was seeing the tiniest texture seeming issue. <laughs> I was seeing it from all the way back through the cornfield and it looked like a blue electrical light, huh? But that voice line is so, that's so random. Right? But, I, I, yeah, like, what else could that have possibly meant? You know what, Jameson? That storm has not moved from that one place. From diner area? It has not moved from there. It looks like it's diner or farming. It does, doesn't it? I hear the bus as well. We could hop on it and ride, ride I around. say so, dude. We're still, like, unfortunately in the science area of this myth and of this yeah. uh, Easter egg. At this point, I was honestly really convinced that the Abaganji was out there. 100% because of the voice line. Uh, why else would the character say that? We obviously had no idea how this guy worked, so I thought it was a good idea for Jameson to do a quick bus tour and see if the Ambravagadu had spawned in a different location. But uh, the game did not agree. Oh! Oh. That wasn't- he just died of old age. Ah. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Well. Or maybe I was too far away? Yeah. Well. Well. Good luck, dude. I'm more worried about you, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> like, me too, dude. Good luck to you. Thank you. Alright. Well, if you can make a crawler... I will go- Whoa, Jesus fucking Christ! Uh oh. Oh, shit, I'm in trouble. Big shrubs. Good, good luck. One just came out of fucking nowhere, and I had to leave my spot, and now I'm getting denizened. No, oh, no. That's yeah, not good. All I can do is say good luck. Thanks, <laughs> mate. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. You're a high skill gamer, though. Apparently so. No! <laughs> Fuck, man. Shit. Fuck, dude. I'm so pissed. Shit. So pissed. No. Oh, no. no. I had the EMPs as well. Oh, no. I had it, dude. I had it. Just one just came out the left and I didn't see it and it was two of them. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I was really, really not happy about that one. What's even more annoying is I even somehow traded with the zombies that killed me, and no more turned up after that, so that was it. 
That was all my zombies. I killed them all and somehow died as well. Yeah, and you won't respawn until the round starts again. Yeah, it's over, dude. It's over, man. I lost all my weapons. We shouldn't have separated. Uh, no, but... But also, like... K keep doing your grand tour to find the Avogadro. Yeah, yeah. See where he was hanging out. Ah, dude, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed. It was like right... I reckon it was like the last three in my vicinity. Yeah, probably. Ah! Jameson did check diner and farm, but we never found the apple fritter, so still really no idea how that guy works, but on to attempt six. Ray gun, baby, let's fucking go! Nice. Mystery box is loving us today, dude. Oh, <gasps> EMP! Uh, 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 okay. We can do it. Two, let's do it. Let's do it. This is an RPD. I'll take that. That's that made. That's good enough. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good enough. Round five. Round five. Just get a get a crawler and hang get a out. Get right now. Sure. And we're gonna try we'll and get off at crop, and one of us will go to power. I have a crawler. He's a very slow boy. I also got EMPs. <gasps> Holy shit, that's great. Okay. We got a... What? Whoa. Huh? Uh, Did you see that? Uh, yeah. Huh. It's happened twice now, but you were right what here. The what the fuck? Huh. What is that? Is that behind uh, you? We've never seen that. No. What? What the fuck? Only when we've, like, left. Yeah, yeah, I've never, it just, he just died. This is actually another question I'd love to know if any of you have made it this far into this video, because Jesus Christ, this is a long one. Why do crawlers sometimes die? Uh, I would love to know. Uh, please and thank you. Oh, Raygun. <laughs> Alright, we're fucking loaded. Also, because we actually got everything we need in Diner for once, we can just go straight to the crop fields and power and not have to do our stupid 20-minute crawler journey. He's okay, off. he jumped, he jumped. Nice, okay. So I'll let you lure him. Sure. I'll let you pull aggro. Oh, here it is. That, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, Fuck it. There's, yeah. Nice. I feel like we're pretty much at the end of the round All here. right. I think that's it. You want to do the scout? Sure, I'm just going to reload everything. He is definitely, like, he's very noticeable. He has a very large electricity AoE around him. Oh. Oh, no. I, oh, please, don't you... Okay. Fuck it. I just don't want to go too far and have the crawler die. The crawler died. The crawler died, yeah. I got a connection interrupted. I was frozen. Nice. And I got hit once, and I thought I was about to die. Because nice. Because I couldn't move. But yeah, the crawler... As soon as you said that, the crawler died. What... What is going on with the crawler dying shit? I don't like, know. It's just so, so, so bizarre. It's weird. Ah, he just died. Yeah, Fucking Karen. shit, dude. What the he hell? Just dropped dead. That, like, we've, we've done like nine hours on this map and that's never once happened. Yeah, never happened. And now it's just happening every single round. We have a storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like what else is there to do? No, right? I don't know, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, buddy. I see him! I see him in the really? corner! I just saw him outside! I see him! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, shit! Something's actually happening in this easter egg. Um, sorry. Let me put the music back to normal speed. Wow. Okay, he zapped me. Oh, shit. Oh. I thought... I didn't realize he dealt damage. Okay. I'm gonna back up a bit. He's still not coming in. Just dodge the shots. Yeah. Just dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Bring that blue ass in here. Come here. Ow. That lightning really hurts. Ow. Yeah, it's crazy. Get in here, you asshole. Do we have to, like, back out slightly to get him to move forward? No, he's just you know? stuck on the fucking fence. Be stupid. Oh get over here. He's in, he's in. Put, put the turbines down. Turbines down. Turbines down. I'm fucking just chucking an EMP. emp He's doing something. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait. Done well. Okay. Okay, there is one last step to do. We have to place two turbines down at two different lampposts. That's it. That's all that's left. Our only fear here was SCE, which you guys will obviously know means spontaneous crawler expiration. Everyone in the community knows that, of course. If that happens, we might be in trouble. You take the lamppost right in front of right in front of Cornfield? Sure. Okay. Oh, oh shit. 
Where are you? Where are you? I'm heading back. I, I, I'm gonna try to run back. Yeah, I'm running back. I mean, the problem is the crawlers are just gonna fucking die. Like, how do we do this then? I have no clue. I've lost my reticle. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> my crosshair's gone. That's very helpful. Uh, okay. Did it come back after reloading or anything? No, I've just lost my crosshair. No, it's just gone. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, great. What the? We have another. We have one crawler though. We have one crawler. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Fuck me, man. Don't so there's a lamp here, and then there's one up the road towards power. Why don't I head towards it now? Yeah. Maybe just stay together for a while and just slowly drag him. Sure. Because if we're apart, we're dead. So yeah, this consistent SCE is honestly very stressful. We're so close to finishing the Easter egg, but obviously we're scared of a new round starting while me and Jameson are mid-journey or in a dangerous position. What do you think? Should I start trying to get there with my crawler and you just hang out at that lamp? Yeah, yeah. And then... Like, I don't know what else. And then if he dies, I just fucking leg it there and we just place them both. Yeah. Because there's, you know, like 20 seconds before they start spawning, right? Yeah. Okay, I can see my lamp. I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. I'm not that far. Like, if, if he dies right now, I can easily sprint to it and be there in 10 seconds. Okay, my crawler is just about at the point where I feel safe just right walking to the lamp. Do so, it, dude. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm going to it. Clearing my denizen. I'm placing it right beside the little lamp, just in its vicinity. Okay, wait, I'm fucking denizened again. Yeah. I've done mine. It's, mine's gone green. I've placed mine. Yes! Yes! yes Holy dude. fuck. Oh, oh my god. god. He's getting fried. Look at the tower. Oh yeah, I see it. Wait a minute. Oh, dude. What, what, what? You can activate the teleportation system. You just need to put a turbine near the lamp. Ah, yeah, but then you lose the turbine, right? Until you get it back to the spot? No. The portal's no, there. No, they're just all on. Yeah. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have improved much. I don't think it would have changed too much. No. Because we still had to no. babysit the crawler. Yeah. So I don't think that would have been too relevant. Holy thank fucking god. Before I conclude and move on from this half of the Tower of Babel, there is one thing I do need to quickly check. Alright man, this is a big moment here. <sighs> Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh no! No, they turned on the vending machines! <laughs> oh no, why did we not check that? How did we not think of that? Uh, it's because we've been on this map for 14, 14 hours and we're it's melted our brains. Fuck. Oh boy. So, yeah. Uh, we did the easter egg without perks and without teleportation for no reason. Um, we did a challenge run. I kind of want to throw up, but more than that, I want to move on from tra- Oh my god, please. Please tell me this is about limes and it's not about playing more transit. A bit of both, sir. I have recovered all the limes. Well, that's some good news. Oh, oh well, no. there they go. They really do oh, move, don't they? No. It's fine, Reginald. Just let me know what's left. It's just the nav tables left, sir. Oh, my God. I forgot. All right. So on transit, die, rise, and buried, there is a unique buildable called the nav table. The nav table needs to be built on all three maps, and then there is a nav card that needs to be found on each map and inserted into the correct nav table. The nav card stuff we're going to do later on since these crossover maps. The nav card found in transit goes in the die, rise table, Table, the die rise card goes in the buried table and the buried card goes in the transit table So we're gonna do this once we have finished all of those maps But one thing we can do is pre make the nav tables ready for this step. We're here. We're neck deep in transit This video is basically just the transit special. So let's just get this done at least figure out how this works Let's get the nav table built in transit 
there was a small chance of this being a pain in the ass. There's four parts to make this nav table. One is always in one place, two parts are in two possible places, and the last part is in three possible places. So let's hope for some lucky spawns here. Says it always spawns in the hole in the wall at Bus Depot next to the mystery box. Hmm. Apparently there's a meteorite chunk in there. Oh yeah, I see it. Pick up. Oh, pick up. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I grabbed it. One part dune. Just as a wooden plank. It's an odd thing. Hmm. Wooden planks is a very just like... Very generic. Yeah. Something that could really blend into anything. Yeah. Like it would just look like set dressing. Mm-hmm. And not seeing anything. Me neither, yeah. I feel like with two of us pushing our face into every wall, we would have seen it? Question mark? You'd think, yeah. Is there anything at the diner? Mm-hmm. Radio in the garage by diner. Okay. Yeah, it's in here. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I can't pick it up, obviously. But Where are you? Yeah, right here. Ah, all right. There you go. So we can take those off. Very nice. How would you build it? Uh, it's like a very finicky little spot, like right here. There oh. we go. What the? <laughs> okay. God, this is really finicky. I can't. Yeah, yeah, it's extremely. I saw... I'm about to do it. Right here, right here. I, I'm getting it. There you go. I'll no, I lost it. it. It's like a pixel. Yeah, it's... it's Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh! What the f... Right? It's like different every time I look. I'm, oh. I know. It's changing! <laughs> oh, hello. I'm not even joking. Wait. What the fuck is this? <laughs> It's a good video game. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Why is it a pixel? I know. All right, two parts done. Yeah, beautiful. So, on the buildable bench... Oh, below the buildable bench, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wooden plank. All right, three out of four. Okay. If you want, you can just walk back to the field right now, and I'll just keep this guy alive. Sure. And then it's just me and you together for one of them. Okay, give me 30 minutes. I have to find the spot. Yeah, God, it's so stupid. The... Okay, if you if you back off... Oh, my God. It sort of, like, resets it a little bit? I swear it was moving. Holy... F okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, my God. Okay, there's now... A, the f items are now sitting on a table, so that's good. That's it good. doesn't look so jank. <laughs> Um, okay, so... In town between the dumpster and the mystery box spawn. The dumpster Spice is over opposite here, the bookstore. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like and it corner. is a, an electric box. Boom. Electric box. Oh, damn. All right. Some uh, lucky spawns there, because that one it can spawn in three places. Wow. Yeah. All right, let me find the spot here. Oh, immediately. Oops. Hold F to insert nav card. I presume I don't have we that. We do not have that yet, no. Interesting. But well done. That was easy. We did it. That means transit is over for a few months, mate. Yay! <laughs> Thank God we're done. Until Thank God. February 2023. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> that is fine, yeah. That's fine. We spent a month here. We did. More than a month. Or yeah, about a month. 12 hours. 12 and a half Yay! hours. Unbelievable. All right, we got some really lucky spawns there, and that was pretty straightforward. Some temporary freedom, and man, am I looking forward to a brand new map. Even though you guys didn't really seem to like Die Rise, a change of scenery sounds really amazing, right? Oh my god, no. So, will you be attending any PvP grief slash turned? Multiplayer session. Oh my sir. god. How much stuff is in this game? Oh, it's wonderfully feature rich, sir. <laughs> oh god. Uh, well, not today. Uh, we will get there. Um, I'm tired. This video has gone on for way too long. Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 just came out. I hear bus horns in my brain. I need to end this video. No story time, sir. 
No, no story time today. Uh, being honest, I did plan on a story time for every single video, but I honestly couldn't find the story for Transit. There's no opening cinematic to Transit, and my googling specifically for Transit story details was not very fruitful. It feels to me like Transit is a little like Call of the Dead or Shangri-La, where it's kind of a stepping stone towards a major story point. But for now, yeah, I couldn't really find a lot on the story of Transit. But that is it for chapter 4 guys, uh, this was a deeply emotional journey, I feel like me and Jameson really went through something here. I will say though, I had fun in transit. Honestly, the 5 exploration days in transit were probably my favourite chunk of zombies so far. But I would say transit has a very grating effect. There are some irritating aspects of the map for sure, they do start to wear you down after a while and it can get annoying, but overall though, transit was was a really good adventure. I enjoyed the journey and it was probably the most unique thing in Zombies so far. But next time will be Die Rise and Mob of the Dead and depending on how long those take hopefully we can fit in some turn slash grief multiplayer madness. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and thank you with your patience. I had hoped that chapter 4 would be shorter and easier to make due to Nuketown being a really small map. Uh, but Transit obviously had something to say about that. And we've had Modern Warfare 2 myth bosses on our plate, so it's taken a while to get done. And yeah, that's probably not going to change, honestly. These videos are a huge time sink, and we have a lot of other stuff to get done on the channel right now. So this series will probably not be coming quickly, but I will get this done one step at a time. If you would like to show your support to this series, or just longer form content like this, and also get these videos, videos early, get zombies deleted scenes, full easter egg videos and partake in exclusive zombie and modern warfare 2 mythbuster recordings, consider supporting us on patreon. Thank you to our newest patreons, Tenebris, Braden, Bicomics, Shark Guy, Supply Drop, XGVul, Hey There You, Wei Atasoma, Kieran, Matthew, Angravius, Buttersmoth, Jacob, Asada, Cello, and Jake. Thank you guys for the support, I really appreciate it. And the usual shout out to our other platforms. We are doing our best to be more consistent with uploading short myth content onto our TikTok. Jameson is doing extra modern warfare and warzone content over on the Facebook. I'm not doing that, I'm making Minecraft videos over there and really enjoying it. I stream over on Twitch, Twitter, blah blah blah. I hate doing this part of the outro, but apart from that guys, hope you're still enjoying the series, chapter 5 is on its way.